Reno. The biggest little city in the world is placing major bets on renewable energy. We're producing 100 megawatts of geothermal power. 100 megawatts is enough to supply the entire residential load of the city of Reno. Here's how it works. What we do is we drill wells, we bring up hot water, and that's kind of like our fuel source. It heats a working fluid, which turns to a vapor, builds pressure, turns a turbine, which spins and produces electricity. And unlike solar or wind, geothermal energy doesn't rely on weather conditions. When we say 100 megawatts of geothermal power, that's base load power. It's power being produced 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So when the sun goes down, it doesn't stop producing. Geothermal may produce energy on a constant basis, but can it compete on price with lower cost power from coal or natural gas? The geothermal industry says it can, and without the emissions. For the small environmental footprint, we produce more power than almost any other type of renewable resource when you look at overall environmental impact because we have you know, no mine associated with the plant, no plume, no water consumption. It's really a phenomenal resource where, where you can readily find it. So why isn't it done in more places? Most geothermal plants are currently located near geological hot spots where hot water is near the surface. But can this technology work in places without heavy seismic activity, like New York? Well, with advanced technology, they, the kind of groups like the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and others I think you could do it virtually anywhere. Uh, and they, they put out a report a couple of years ago, I think it was 2006, saying that you could have millions of megawatts of geothermal potential in the, across the United States in every state. But we're not there yet. We could develop these plants in New York or D.C. We'd have to drill incredibly deep wells that are incredibly expensive, and it would, it, the plants might not become financially viable. And while the Department of Energy and the geothermal industry continue to study ways to make drilling cheaper, the only places currently wagering on geothermal are western hotspots like Utah, California, or Nevada. For CNN Money, I'm Steve Hargraves.